Now here's your host, Vianne Webb. We're going to visit two very different holiday celebrations on this edition of Our Place, Our Time. Welcome and season's greetings to you. Our first celebration is called Kwanzaa, a word of West African origin. In recent years, many Afro-Americans have begun to observe, at this time of year, a seven-day-long celebration patterned after the traditional African harvest festivals. Now, Kwanzaa shares many ceremonial aspects with our Thanksgiving, with Hanukkah, and with Christmas, but it is also a distinctly ethnic celebration of Afro-Americans. Kwanzaa normally begins on December the 26th, but producer Kim Simon Fink asked a Virginia Beach family if they would give us a preview. And here is her report. Africa, the ancestral homeland to black Americans. It seems a far cry from this suburban Virginia Beach neighborhood. Gone are so many of the customary tribal rituals. The gathering of the harvest, for example, is of little import to black Americans who need only drive as far as their local supermarket. As Americans, it is important to remember our rich heritage and to learn from the past. For seven days, from December 26th to January 1st, Afro-Americans nationwide will honor their cultural past through the seasonal celebration of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa celebrations are usually observed at home. It is a time to gather with family and friends. Reverend Samuel Varner and his wife Ruth welcome their guests in Swahili. Patterned after traditional African harvest celebrations, Kwanzaa, or Festival of First Fruits, was created in America in 1966 by Dr. Marlana Ron Karinga. His intention to bolster black pride. Maguza Saba are the seven principles on which Kwanzaa was founded. Seven principles that are responsible for successful harvest of any kind, whether it be a literary work, raising a family, or harvesting a field of produce. There are principles such as Umoja, Swahili for unity, or Nia, purpose, principles that are vital in building strong and wholesome communities. <laughs> Like most holidays, there are ceremonies. The observance of Kwanzaa begins with the libation blessings. We come in, and the first thing we do to start our, our Kwanzaa celebration is we ask the oldest person in the house for permission to carry on with the celebration. And if they give us permission by nodding the head or standing, then we honor the ancestors by dropping a libation on the floor so that the ancestors will be connected with us with our celebration. We also make praises to the elderly people in the house, Okorin and Obirin, which is man and woman. Omo is children. And we make praises to the children because the children are the ones that carry on these traditions as we move off the scene and we join our ancestors. In this harvest celebration, children are considered the finest fruits. At our Kwanzaa celebration, we always have corn, and this each ear of the corn represents the fact that this corn is going to be able to reproduce itself. We bring our children into our Kwanzaa celebration with the same idea that they're going to reproduce us, and they're going to carry on the traditions of our ancestors. Our ancestors were very, very concerned about preserving the Africanisms that we could preserve in this country, and we have preserved them in this ceremony of, and in this celebration of Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. On each of the seven days, a candle representing one of the Naguzo Saba principles is lit and placed in the Kanara, a candelabra symbolizing the origin of the black people. The principles are recited by the elders for the children in a somber ceremony. self-determination, to define, name, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves, instead of being defined, named, created for, and spoken for. Fourth principle, Ujima, collective economics, to build and maintain our own businesses and profit from them together. The lighting of the Kanara is a time to reflect on cooperative family and social values. Solidarity through the principles of unity, 
self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. Many times our society has said to us that as black people you cannot create, we must create for you. And we want the children to know that. So we light these candles. We help the children to realize that they can define their own selves. They can name themselves. And they can create for themselves. Of course, sobering lessons can be reinforced with an intoxicating mix of song and dance. <laughs> Drums are recognized as the heartbeat of the African. When the drum speaks, the community gathers. Their polyrhythmic feet translates into a harmonic blend of unity. And what would a harvest festival be without sharing the fruits of its labor? On the seventh day, there is the karamu, or feast. During the feast, the seventh principle, Amani, or faith, is discussed. The children reflect on their year's achievements and are later rewarded for their deeds with zawadi, homemade gifts. After the meal, poems and stories are told, fashioned after the tradition of sharing oral histories. ...with Harriet Tubman to free our people from the danger. I gave a heavenly voice to Marian Anderson, taught Billie Holiday to sing away her pain put the will to survive in the ghetto, delivered babies in the early morning, not once did I complain. I put the pen in the hand of Langston Hughes and made him sit down to write, put the low-down blues in the heart of Hootie Leadbelly, caused Sugar Ray Leonard to fight. Arambe. Finally, Arambe. Arambe. Let's Arambe. pull together. A closing toast Arambe. is delivered to ancestors, Arambe. and a pledge is made for continued progress and unity. This alarm clock to remind us it's time for us to work. It's not a uh, year-end celebration. It's the beginning of work. And we must work all year round for the betterment of our people. Kwanzaa, a time for family and friends. A festival of lights, the exchange of gifts. Ceremonies not too far afield from the seasonal celebration of Christmas and Hanukkah, though there is no religious intent. The celebration of Naguzo Saba, the seven principles, is distinctly cultural the first ethnic Afro-American celebration in the United States.